All right, we're up on sale. I just put a bunch of dates up. Find your city. The theater tour is coming in 2022. We got Vegas. We got the Beacon Theater in New York City. We just released some more tickets. We got Indianapolis. We got Portland, Seattle, ChristyComedy.com. Find your city. I'm doing a theater in your city, baby. Yas. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Chrissy Chaos. Today, I'm going straight. I'm going white. I'm going male. <laughs> Deal with it. We got Michael Blaustein, Trevor Wallace from the Stiff Socks Potty Waddy. Up in the, this bitch. These kids combined uh, don't weigh as much as me. So that's, if you want to feel fat, then sit next to Blaustein and Trevor Wallace, who, who have, as we call in the pod, RHBs, rocking hot bots. How you doing, fellas? <laughs> Dude, I'm doing good. I think I weigh like 140, maybe. You weigh 140? It's weigh not good. It's not good. It's all illusions. It's not good. I didn't know it was that. No, Dude, how much do you weigh? 140. 50? Wow. But you're dude, a muscle guy. I'm, I'm just kind of. 240, kinda... folks. Two. Do you really weigh 140 pounds? <laughs> it's not, do you have no, scale because, you? dude, look at this. Dude, yo, you got a fucking wagon of ass. That's wagon, Patreon. Right? Patreoncontent.com. You, like you like uh, that? Dude, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my body. No. Every time you, I weigh it, I like, I like put like just quarters in my pocket just to like flex on the doctor. So you're, a bit. so you're a guy who you genuinely can't gain weight. <laughs> no, I, I, I've one have of those. Have you ever tried though? Yeah, have you ever, good like, question. Have you ever like. I, I took a mask in one time. You shit a lot. If they give you one of those weigh bags and it's like you have to have like nine scoops per serving and then right. the whole bag lasts you half an afternoon. I tried it, but it's like, I don't know where it goes. My yeah. body's just, it's. You gotta, what's, your, you gotta, what's, your, what's your bowel contents like? Are you taking, are you taking diarrhea shits? How are they? No, they're decent. Them? Decent. Okay. Solid poops, you know. No. Interesting. Could because be better. Homeless, homeless it... pimp, homeless pimp has lost seventy five pounds. Oh wow! From only no. how about this? You ready for his diet? I swear to God, this this is his diet. Seventy five pounds. Dude, he goes up every podcast. <laughs> he, eats, he eats one salad a day and Heineken beer. He drinks Heinekens all day. I Heineken, swear to God, I can see Heineken that. beers all day and one salad and once in a while Magic Spoon. Use the promo code Chaos. <laughs> once once in a while Magic Spoon cereal and this kid has lost eighty six pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was ninety. Three, but yeah, yeah we'll dude. go down. He's legitimately that magic spoon is crazy, no, man. Bro, you Promo have to see what a chaos. fucking mess he was last year before he really? started just eating you salads and drinking Heinies. Can we bring a picture of how you're disgusting? Heinekens, you have to be hot to drink Heinekens. Let me, let me show uh, here, and I'll send this to you, pimp. But here, here's the picture. You could just tell he was just like a he was just a fucking mess, and now he's hot, dude. You know how many women? He's kind of hot, dude. Glasses. You know how many women message me trying to get to the pimp? It's dude, like, we got a hot podcast producer too, and we're nervous, dude. It's like if we lose the producer, dude, we got to do this shit. Cells, we gotta do our own fucking ad reads. Look, dude, he looked like he looked like a like a like a fat animal. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's gross, right? dude. Right? That's really Harsh fucking angle, disgusting. Yeah. No glasses. Yeah, here, here I'm, dude. Gonna, I'm gonna send it to you, Pimp. Maybe we can throw it up on the. Uh, I'll put it in the, on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. trash myself. Yeah, trash yeah, yourself. Dude. But now, dude, he's there out is. here. Everybody loves it, Pimp. So he's lost a lot of weight. But you, you're skinny, mini. I just stayed like this this whole time. I was a little bulkier in college in my creatine days. Creatine. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I used to use Winstrel. I used to go full. <laughs> oh, I went. I went D-ball. full steroids. I went D ball. Wow. You went D ball. No, because you're thin, but you're but when you take off your shirt, you look jacked on camera. Yeah, on right. he, he low key has abs. They're just out here. No, no, but this, but this is every super, every action hero you see. Uh, yo, what, what's his face? Uh, Chris who's, Evans. Who's the hot, Chris Evans. Fucking who's the other hot guy? Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, uh, yeah, all these guys are thin like this, but you look jacked on camera. Yeah, they do a little god angle. You look fucking huge. Yeah. Now your body. Ever since I met you, you've been jacked. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's right? a, it, I mean, it's a it's a genetic thing. Also, I, I work say, out a bunch. Work I was gonna say, do you work out a lot? I think it's a combination of both. I think it's genetics. Is also like I work out probably like five days a week. Eat, do you eat. What is your I eating? Don't habit? I eat like shit? Really I don't. Does. I don't like eat Wendy's well. At like 9 I was gonna say, what'd you have for breakfast today? You want to know? Yes. I had one slice of pepperoni pizza. Uh, at, what for at, breakfast? At, for breakfast. Cold or hot? Hot. Oh, you scumbag. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah you wanted that warmth. Yeah. You wanted the hug of your father to be like, here's a pizza. That's you, probably why. I didn't pizza. have a dead. Well, that'll yeah. do it. Yeah. Now, and you didn't work out at all yet today. I have not worked out yet. Why, but you will. No, no, no. Actually, no, I did. I ran. I ran. You jogged this morning. Dude, my, my girl woke me up at six in the morning with some girl stuff, and then it was like, let's go for a run. Wait, what do you need some girl out. stuff? Eh, you know. Just yelling at you yeah, about shit? Okay. Pregnant. Come on. Oh, let's there go you go. Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not pregnant. That's why I got a fucking four Betty house out here, because I got so many Puerto Rican kids. Are they, all, are they all Puerto Rican? I got all my kids are Puerto Rican. Good yeah. for you. Dude, good for me. Tight. Good for Jasmine. That my my yeah. girl, I mean, she fucking hit the lotto, baby. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> she got herself a white man. Let's go. 
Oh, her family, her family, house. Was, dude, Come I swear on. to God, when her family first came over, like what well, first f- family first met me seven years ago, her mom, shout out uh, Jazz's mom, great lady. She was like, oh my God. She was like, he, she was like, Jazz was like, oh, you know, this is my boyfriend, Chris. She was like, you didn't tell me he was white. She was like, congratulations, <laughs> sweetie. She was like hugging her and shit. She was like, mom. I was like, yeah. That's uh, all good though. No, no, no. It's good, man. I <laughs> See, I just moved out here um, a couple of months ago. People already know my address, which is bad. Oh, that's not Are we allowed to be like Staten Island? Island that's an issue. Well, we tried we dox to say it again. Was, what tried, is it? Well, no. What happened was we tried to say we tried to say it was Long Island, and then a couple <laughs> of the FedEx guys are podcast fans, so they know my fucking address. Then the dentist office. I mean, and then people were able to piece. There used to be a bar oh, in here. There used to be a bar right there, like that the previous owners had, and we ripped it out. Yeah. And one time I was talking about the bar, and the, the, the you know that I lived on Staten Island, and people just did a Zillow search and oh, found wow. one house just oh. sold. Oh. Zillow oh. the pictures Everything. and saw the bar, and then literally texted me my address uh, you know DMing my address so and they like, like know how much you paid for the house Zillow's yo, a snitch dude. I know Zillow's snitch weird. as fuck yeah, dude. So, so, but, but we're safe now here because we got we got security system and we got you. Uh, I wish she was here. TT Jerry, who is my girl's transgender uncle, who's just got out of prison for twenty years. So, if you want to come, <laughs> that's better than a ring camera. I'll tell you, you what. You better pick right. If you want to come rob me, if you want to come rob the house, if you know the address, <laughs> you better choose right, motherfucker, because you will get choked out by a transgender cock, and you ain't gonna see that shit coming. You'll get sliced and diced. She sliced a motherfucker's dick off with a tuna can in prison. <laughs> What is she going to do to the clips, dude? It's, it's, it's gnarly. What do you think she's going to do to you if you try to come into the sunroom? You're fucked, dude. Choose right. Because yeah. right now, I'm going to be honest with you. If you came right now today, which you know it's it's two weeks. This episode comes out in two weeks. But if you came today, you might get some shit because only the homeless pimps here, and you'll fucking hit them right in the sunflower <laughs> pants, and it's over. But but but, t- but you, you'll we'll kill fall him. in love while doing it. You but bro, know? T- what t- are these? bro, T T Jerry. Not only not only if you came in here. She would fuck you up. If she thought you were hot, she'd fuck you in the ass before she let you leave the house. You would, get, you would be fucked and fucked. No, yeah. T- you, you think T.T. Jerry would fuck a, would, somebody who came in if she thought he was cute, she'd fuck him in the ass before we called the police. Oh, 100%. Do you think 100%. she's more of a uh, Michael or a Trevor type person? You gotta be black. So okay. I guess Trevor. Oh, myself. Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just based on principle do you, alone. Yeah. Do you think the after she would come, she'd have like post not regret and be like, ah, we don't even need the cops. I feel like that would happen. I genuinely, in my heart, if I'm being dead serious and, yes. and pimp, back me up on this. I genuinely think in my heart, if you came in here and, and tried to break into the house and TT caught you, because TT has told us, I do not want to go back to prison. I do not. So, but if somebody ever came and disrespected my family, which she considers me, her family, oh, or yeah. tried to hurt any of you, yeah. She's like, I would kill them and go back to prison because she's like, I can survive in jail. I don't have a fear of it. I just don't want to go back. She's like, but I wouldn't be able to live with myself if somebody hurt you and I didn't defend your honor and kill that person. So she would absolutely murder someone who came in here. But I do think... She would fuck them in the ass, truthfully. I genuinely believe she'd oh, yeah. fuck you in the ass and then not call the police. I think she would be like, this is, you're never this gonna come, you ain't gonna enough. do shit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Cause she doesn't care. She's like, I'm like, what about enemies in prison, prison gang? She goes, anybody who steps up to me, she goes, will get their fucking rocks knocked back. That's exactly, that's a direct question. I don't even know what that means. I said, I don't know rocks. I said, what are you talking about? I didn't even know I had rocks, but I guess yeah, they're gonna get the knocked back. The more confusing, back. the better, you know? Yeah. I think she, my favorite at dinner the other night with your kids all at the dinner table she's like yeah i used to scare kids straight in prison Mm -hmm. remember that she goes she says no she goes to this she used to take she was part of that she's not the tv show that tv show scared straight but not the tv show she said there was a program in her one of her prisons she was up in attica prison which is like a famous prison she went up there big flex yeah big flex and she said and she said um they used to bring in like 12 13 year old kids that were like you know in like little gangs and shit and like kind of just you know whatever scare them straight she said she walked in glue and shit yeah she went into this one 13 year old kid and was like she was like, listen, motherfucker. She goes, you're going to keep going down that life of crime. That's fine with me. She goes, but then you're going to be in here. She's, she's like, what do you want to do? She goes, you want to be like me? She goes, you're going to be in here for, for prison 20 years. You come out, you got titties. She goes, you come out, you got titties. You got titties and an ass. I wouldn't even be mad. She goes, is that what you want? With you want to come to prison and leave with titties and an ass? She goes, because that's what happened to me. I got titties and an ass. Because she has full estrogen tits now. Hold oh, wow. fake ass. Did she, she go in? She ass? went in there. Yeah. She in went jail? In- BBL? Does she have a fake ass or is TT's ass just Puerto Rican? No, it's she does. Cr- she got crazy legs. Let me let me find. Oh, yeah, pull up are, TT's legs. Natty? Did you guys All come yet? Get up? ready. You might leak. Oh, I'm, a getting, there. I'm getting there. Get a little okay. pre-com. You might on leak the, on the verge. What TT's quads? Oh, yes. You might leak a little bit. Okay. Really? 
Yeah. All natty, just hitting the squats. All squats, Wall but sits? the titties are estrogen. She's got estrogen titties. So the, hold on, so there's no like fake, it's just est just estrogen and estrogen. estrogen therapy. Oh, these are photo shoot? Ah. Which, by the way, you guys can continue the estrogen therapy and help us keep paying for that at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. We pay for TT's tits through the Patreon. Hold up. And we bought her a car through the Patreon. So really? thank you so much. Patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. All your support. TT Jerry's bucket list. All the other shit we do. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. We bought her a Toyota Corolla. Look at that. Bang. She's, Would you? She's up. Honestly, man. She comes up to Fucking you. Fucking caked up. Honestly, bro. If I, if I have a few Heinekens like the Look pimp, at that. I'm fucking. Yeah. No, honestly, I'm she coming looks off like, a red eye LaGuardia bro, and you yeah. bump into me. Honestly, dude, there's been a couple of times I've come on pretty drunk and yeah. I'm, I can't tell between if that's her and my baby mama. I don't know, dude. I'm like, who's who? I'll fuck anybody right now. <laughs> She's just holding a butcher's knife. You're like, I still don't know. Yeah, dude, it doesn't matter. And TT, T- it's not like TT will say anything. She'll be like, you do you, poppy. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the dude. best security in all of Staten Island. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't. That, what do you that's think? A... Weapon of choice or just like verbal violence? I feel like Ooh, with pick. TT. Ice pick. Ice, ice pick. <laughs> you know, she stabbed somebody's eye with ice pick. I think. I think if I genuinely think if you tried to come in at it, if you came in and TT, I think she would. She would hurt you bad. Like ice pick shit. She could fucking probably kill you with one of the girls' toys. She might be able to. She'll take an American girl down and strangle you with that shit. Jesus, <laughs> just kill you with a Paw Patrol DVD. Yeah. Fucking, that's that's weird that. shit. Just decapitate you. GI Joe. Yeah, I but, like um, it. He must feel safe here. I feel I feel safe as fuck here. Paul Rudd is the sexiest man alive. What do we wrong. think of Ant Man? Wrong. No, no, dude. Wrong. No. It's I, not even. It's not even. He's, he's not even the there. top hundred and eighty six. How the fuck? How the fuck did he get number one? He's not ugly. He looks no. Like he the sexiest man, man alive? alive. First of all. First of all, I think he's too small. Yes. He's, he's a guy, man. Is he short? If, he's short guy. Ooh. If I Whoa, had to, he's like my height, guys. Ant- everyone relax. Ant-Man, once you, come in, once you say I'm Ant-Man, you can never be sexiest man alive. It's one or the other, dude. There can't be Ant-Man and you're the sexiest guy alive. I think sexiest man alive, you ready for who my pick would be? I don't Give know if you may have won it already, Go but he it. just had a big movie come out too. Idris Elba. That's oh why I go. Oh my god! I mean, that's a fucking man. That's dude. a chocolate drop of a human yeah. being. I would lick those and he's tits. Got a nice accent on him too. Dude, he British, does. and he's a great actor. Up. That's just the added value on top. Can we find out, Pimpy? Has Idris Elba I ever think, won Sex Man Alive? I think so. He has to have. Right? Can you win again? Dude, because you should win again. First of all, we should have Sexiest oh, wow. Man Alive. Fuck. Passing yeah. the torch. Okay, so he won at 47. Okay, so he good. He deserves it. So each, we should have Sexiest Man Alive, and then we should have, I mean, like another type of award for guys that just pull pussy. Because, I mean, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's legitimately. Up. I don't know if, the, if if there was a Hall of Fame. Uh, Michael Rappaport on his podcast calls it the Stick Man Hall of Fame. Yeah. If there's, I don't know. I think I'm, I can comfortably say. Yeah. I can comfortably with 100%. Uh, certainty, and I've thought about this, say that Pete Davidson, I think, as far as getting pussy and getting girls, is the hero of our time, and I think he's better than Clooney. I think he's better than Jeter. You know uh, who he's not better than? Who is he Can not? I say this? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Have you seen That's his... That's the only one I'm like UCLA bro. girls. Like, they're not like celeb-celeb. Leo just fucks everything and anyone, but there are a lot of like re- post-grads that you met at one of. Now, we were talking about this before. Pete nope. Davidson has yeah. banged the famous two most we feel famous women ever in history. We got Kim Ariana Kardashian, Grande T. T. one, Jerry. T. T. Jerry. We got Ariana Grande <laughs> one. We got um, uh, Kim Kardashian two. The yeah. only woman that completes a tri- trifecta for him is if he fucks Oprah. Michelle Obama or Michelle Whoa, Obama, Obama. Oprah or great. Michelle Obama or threesome. Is Oprah single? I think she I is. I think she's Stedman. Is Stedman still happening? Stedman's gay, right? Jeff he has got to be a new gay, lady, right? Jeff, Jeff Bezos, Bezos is with single. some new girl. Yeah, I think. He, well, Jeff Bezos. I know it's Jeff Bezos. His ex-wife walked away with about six billy billy. Oh yeah, she walked away about six bill. Oh you know, yeah. What can you do? She walked away with Kanye money. Just six, from sucking cock. Six <laughs> bill. But you know what's funny is the the stock changed like four or five months later. She could have walked with like. Four hundred bills. So what? Like, I saw this. Yeah. What so I saw this Bezos stuff. So Bezos God. is with Leo's old girl. No, oh. no, that's Bezos's new girl. Right. Chatting up oh, Leo. But, but Leo. Oh, oh, wow. Look at her. Look at her. Bezos' new wow. girl is a trash. A lot of pain. honestly, dude. If, if I'm gonna be honest, just seeing him in the in, in the flesh right now. Yeah. If I could, if I could press a button and change places with anyone for a day, I think it would be Leo. I think it would be Leo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't Just know who. I, I don't know who else you would Let's fucking see. choose. Maybe some like maybe like a. Some I, people like, may choose Pete. Right now, it's possible, yeah. but I, young cats might choose Pete. So, what do you? How is Pete doing this with no social media? Is he just that? Is the that to me? Is what, that's why. That's why I'm comfortable putting him 
Hall of Fame because he's doing he's not on steroids. He's not doing it with not he's not steroids. juicing. He's not getting any of these no girls D-ball. in social media. Nothing, dude. How he's natural. It? You know what Tim said? He tweeted earlier, which is so funny, that SNL is uh his dating app. His oh, Pete's that's funny. App. Yeah, he called oh, it, yeah, wow. Pete's, yeah, that's funny. Just well, whoever's in that way. Yeah. That's who he's yeah. It's kind of the best because you get to be in an environment with that person. It's like you ever got you guys ever work at a restaurant where all of a sudden you're like fu- everyone's just incestuous, everyone's fucking each other because yeah. you guys are always around each other. At every it's restaurant similar, ever. Yeah. yeah, it's very similar to the SNL thing. You're like around that person for a solid yeah. week, so you get to be like you get to piss him. Like, hopefully, Idris and Elba's shit. a guest this week. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was a guest, wasn't he? Idris Elba had to be the guest. Imagine Pete starts dating Idris Elba. <laughs> that would be amazing. That's, that's, Who's uh, on next week? You know, yeah. that's just how he swipes, right? Maybe dude. Pete picks the guest. Yeah, dude. But I, has this ever happened to you? Like the way look how Jeff handled his girl just leaving him to talk to you know what I mean like you Bezos would watch them fuck this that's a that's a that's a Bezos cuck, is a that's rub a my nipples face. while they fuck kind Bezos of guy Bezos is cocked out yeah I don't yeah, think Bezos out, yeah. he's a walking penis this guy would watch them he's fuck he's also worth so much and still bald you know if I yeah, had yeah, that much yeah. money give me a toupee do something I don't think he I think he's one of those guys that like he wants that look dude he wants that it look it does have millionaires are usually bald or yeah. porn stars but you know who, who is this woman by Johnny the way Johnny Sanders that's his I believe I believe he had an affair with his wife or who knows what the press says but he left his wife for this woman Lauren Sanchez is her name I mean Latina but Latinas just get you dude yeah once I hear the name Sanchez Gutierrez like anything I'm just like I'm in this is they just just know what they're doing yeah it's just they're built for like sexual creatures you know what I mean look at you they they do sexuality it's brutal dude Dude, lost my virginity to a Latina yeah you did nice Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah how'd it go uh, came quick, but it was my first time. She had already done it. She was a veteran, and yeah, I was they, excited. they come out. Yeah. They, they, they fucking their quinceanera. They, they, they yes, fucking there. I was excited. I was like, uh, you know, I asked her after. I was like, how was it? And she's like, it was sex. And I was like, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> <Call> condom or <laughs> no condom? How old? Condom. I was seventeen, uh, and uh, yet, yeah, you know, I lost my virginity to a black girl. No condom. First time I ever Whoa. had sex. Literally, three pumps came fully inside the girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got a free trial of life right there. I swear to God. This. Just at 17 years old, fertile as fuck, three pumps, full load, right up into the girl, and just that's it. Started. Was she BC'd up, yeah. birth control? Or? Nah, dude. And wow. she had also, she was also a vet. What did she say? Veteran? Was she like, I can't oh, believe gotcha. you did she was like, She was like, I can't believe it's over. She goes, you didn't pull out. And I was like, I didn't know. Like, I honestly no didn't syllabus. know what to do. I was yeah. like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I, I'm not 18. I can't get a girl pregnant yet. Like I wasn't sure if it was like an age restriction. I had no <laughs> clue what was going on, but I remember her saying to me, she was like, you know, she was, first of all, she was like a, we met playing basketball. She was like a, a, a black girl. She was wearing a do-rag. I swear to God, showed up to the house, do-rag. Mm-hmm. And she it. goes, um, you know, we, we do it. And I'm like fucking trying to just jam it in. It was like soft as shit. Cause I was so nervous, nervous. panicking. And then three pumps, boom, shoot the load inside of her, which was probably like bullshit. Yeah, load, like you know? pre-cum, because it was AC just yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but it was, I got the sensation. I was, oh, it's over. And she was like, "That's it." I was like, "Yeah." She goes, "All right." She goes, "Listen, go get me an apple juice." And I went. <laughs> I swear to God, I went and got her an apple juice. And she sat and drank the apple juice. And then she put on her basketball sneakers and shorts. And she was like, "You gonna come with me to the park?" And then we, sw- I swear to God, we went and shot jump shots for like another hour. How and loose was your J that day? That just was like- uh, no, dude. My legs were trembling. I was so oh, wow. nervous. And, yeah. and then we had sex, maybe three or four more times and we were dating for like six months and then she broke up with me. Wow. She broke up with me, which I deserve, man. I mean, yeah. because if you have a showing like that where three pumps and you come inside of her and then you cry and tremble and your legs and are And you shaking, get her apple juice. And I yeah. get her apple juice. It's like, <laughs> she's looking at me like, I can't, there's no future with this guy. No. Yeah. You're writing you know? poems in the corner. You can't yeah. be, you can't be fucking, you yeah. can't be the next dude in her life. But I can't believe she stayed with you for six months after that performance. Yeah. And then the next, you know, then I was 17 I was just turning 18, but the next woman I had sex with was 50 years old. <laughs> so, like, today, that's, like, a legitimate crime. <laughs> right? Like, crazy. Yeah. Like, I was not... I Where was, did you meet her? TJ Maxx? No, what dude. Place you no, just- dude. She... You know how fucking crazy this is? She used to work... Well, she was the referee of the basketball course. She was the referee of the basketball... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She used to work at my school... When I was like in kindergarten or first Whoa. grade, she so was she like was in a, scouting early. <laughs> scouting, yeah. son. Wow. She waited. Yeah, she waited, dude. And then I remember that was the second woman I had. So she was 51. Dude, she's like could legitimately be dead right now. Like she's in her 70s. She's dead. Right now, yeah. I'm 37 years old. That how, was 20 years ago, dude. She's 71. <laughs> the second woman and I had. She sex still this. thinks about it. How, how, how was Christy that? Christy DeStefano. Honestly, so dude, because I had kind of shaken off the rust a little bit, if you yeah. will, yeah. With, the, with the first girl, it was actually awesome. No, raw. I went raw dog again. Raw dog again. So dumb. Yeah, she's got you know, everywhere tied. condoms. You have eleven kids. I got eleven. Dude, I'm, I'm Christy the Amish. 
I I literally I remember it being pretty awesome because she like with her it was like there was candles lit it was like you know just warm ambiance years old she had, had multiple tea. children dude yeah. so, the old fucking old women are the best the first old woman I fucked. I finished. She she left. I, I literally thought she like left. She went to the bathroom, came back with a warm washcloth, and literally like washed my stuff. Like it was like it spa too. treatment. I love it. I, and she wasn't she wasn't fifty one. She, she might have been like thirty nine, and I was maybe like twenty one or whatever. Yeah. But it's like I was like I didn't even know she was making me sandwiches. What do you, what is her husband came in with the club <laughs> sandwich? <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like, with the video camera. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like, I felt so bad because she was married. Oh to this. no! I know. Home dude. And blow. I, I didn't know. You didn't I didn't know, know you didn't dude. Know. I was drunk in the city, didn't know, went back to her place, and there was- the I, Nothing I thought, in the house I, gave the clues away. Dude, I'm drunk, <laughs> and this girl- Christmas girl's, cards this in the girl's window. Like, but here's, here's the thing, I literally looked over, this is fucked up, I looked over. I told you this on the podcast. A urn of a <laughs> <laughs> No, it was a- payment is urn. It was a literally picture of like the whole family. And they oh, were like wow. the whitest of white family, all like smiling, happy, yeah. two kids, a, do- a, go- dude, a golden retriever in the, the picture. the Netherlands and shit, you know? Dude, Whoa. it happens, bro. I told, I remember this story, I don't know if you're gonna remember this, I don't know if I ever told this on the podcast. Bro, some real life shit happened to me. This was two years ago. There was a time in my life where me me and Jazz, we weren't together. We like were just co-parenting a little bit and we yeah. were living separately and all that. <clears throat> Jazz, aka Vinny, we call her Vinny on the podcast. Hilarious. Um, um, but she, <laughs> but she, I just fucking, I love, I love guys named Vinny. It's the only way I can come. <laughs> and so if I, you just have to like kind of look like you work at a pizzeria. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 you know, hook up with this girl, right? Mm-hmm. I'm completely single. She tells me she's completely single. Her, you know, DMs me on Instagram, whatever. Her Instagram is just, you know, thought pictures, whatever. Like, right. simple shit. Like, you know, just her at the fucking, you know, margaritas with the girl. Whatever, dude. Not an, it's complete. Not a dude in sight. Not a dude, not a family yeah. in sight, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hook up, whatever. It's fine. It was like one or two times. All good, you know, everything. All of a sudden, um, it's like a Saturday morning, like 7.30 in the morning, right? I was living in this apartment building. I get a knock on the door, like, bang, 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 bang. Oh, shit. Which is like... You know, like it was almost like it's like that police knock that you see yeah. in the movie. Like I thought this, I thought it was like a fucking barricade. Like it's I the like, worst postman driver ever. Bro, I like <laughs> checked myself because I was like, "Yo, am I like under investigation by the FBI course, right yeah, now?" Yeah, like yeah. I woke up and I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" So I had a little peephole, looked through the peephole, and there's a dude there that like looks like through the peephole, like looked pretty jacked and big, yeah. and is like angry. And I'm like, "This motherfucker has to have the wrong." Info. So I say through the door, I was like, Can I help you? He goes, You Chris Stefano? I was oh, like, He's got the right info. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Did you watch my half hour? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, God, he's yeah. Join my Patreon. So so he goes, he goes, I'm so and so's husband. And I was like, Oh, I kind of had that first thought. I was like, yeah. Who? Ooh, yeah. I was like, What? Not not and not Great disrespectfully response. like that. Right. I was just like, you know, we had hooked up and kind of it was like a time or like whatever, man. We was just single also living. Startled in that moment. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. And I was like, yeah, and I said, I was like, who? And he was like, who? Oh, that's no. my fucking life. Who? And I was like, yo. So I kind of like had a decision. I was like, do I call nine one one? I was like, uh, you know. Here are my choices. Do I call 911, which is, that's the one you should do. Yeah. Do I just wait till he goes away? Do you Not call probable, T.T. Jerry? But you could do that. <laughs> T.T. Jerry was still in prison at the time, so Fuck. unfortunately she couldn't come out. There you go. Or do I, three, absolutely don't open the door. So of course I pick three. <laughs> of course. And, yeah, yeah. and I opened the door like oh, an dude. asshole. I swear to God. you're a big dude. Was he big? Yeah, you're, What's yeah, his you're, build? <clears throat> he... Through the people, he looked big. Once I opened the door, not so big. Oh, it was, he had that fish okay, eye lens, so it made him look wider. <laughs> yeah, then when I opened like, the door, I was like, eh, yeah. I could probably, whatever. It's like me if I was in a superhero movie. They just well, do here's, that. I'll, I'll be honest. Here's, here's like, you know, it was bitch behavior by me, but <laughs> I, my neighbor who like I shared a wall with, not lying, dude, taught at a jiu-jitsu school. It was like a jiu-jitsu master. There okay, we go. And is always up doing his stretches. And I know for a fact, heard everything that was going on. I okay, know he good. was home because he always leaves his shoes outside the door. So I could see that when I opened the door, his shoes were there. Yeah. So he was home. So I know if some shit popped off, this guy's going to get crushed because he yeah. had told me once because he yeah. knew I did comedy. He said, like, you ever need security or anything like that? Like, I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, I'll yeah. always help you with whatever you need. Like, he goes, you know, I don't like to fight, but I am a weapon. I was like, all right. Oh, you know, okay. like he said, and I mean, that's yeah, kind of hot. I'm hard Bro, when you teach says at that. jiu-jitsu school. Like you are a weapon. Yeah. So I hope because I said to myself in that split second, I said, yo, I said, this guy is fucking I have a perfectly logical explanation. I would never hook up with someone that I knowingly would was married. That's I just right, want to right, do right, that, right. bro. So I open the door and he tells me, he's like, he's like, you fucking, you fucked my wife. And I was like, oh, bro, God. who's your wife? And then I told him. And then I just, inv- I, just to disarm it, I invited him in. I was like, just come in. I was like, you want some coffee? That's a like, good move. Chill out. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, no, I don't want coffee. I want you to tell me every time you fuck my wife. And I was like, bro, 
I don't know that woman you're referring to. I was like, she, I don't know she was married. He goes, really? He goes, her, her Instagram, it's all me and the kids. I was like, this is the Instagram I have. And then pulled it up. Oh, fake account. Uh, uh, two no, accounts. sir. He goes, no, no, no. This is her Instagram. And then look, that Instagram is private. Wow. Shows me that one. Oh, dude. No. Some of the times that we were like, hang, because wow. I remember she wow. was like texting me like, oh, I'm here. Blah, 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 blah. Come meet me. She was there with her fucking family. I was yeah. like, yo. So I, I <laughs> this is bro. Scandalous. So I tell him the whole thing, yeah. the whole scenario of what happened. I was like, bro, like, I don't for a know hug, anything. Dude. This is and bro. To what this? He, now he's like in a pile That's what I'm on saying. the floor, yeah. hysterical, crying, whole fucking life over. She now starts, he wants a call. She coffee. starts calling me, yeah. like, you know, <laughs> she's like, hey, I think he might be on the way to your apartment. He saw your. He saw my phone. I was like on the. I took a picture of us and sent it back. To her. I was like, <laughs> I was like, here you go. We're having, the pod. Yeah, I was like, we're having a latte. <laughs> yeah. So, bro, but that's and, what it is because bro, you generally didn't know. So he had to I like, come, like he had that switch, and he where he's not even mad. He's like, has, he's, he's sad about his own life. But then you know what's crazy, dude? You sucked him off. You know what? I sucked him <laughs> off. Yeah, I had to. You know what's crazy, dude? It was like in a movie, bro. He opens up. He had like a little legal pad. Crosses me off the list, bro. I was one no, of like no, six guys. No, that it was, no, I swear no, to Christ, no, no, put no. a line through my name, and there was like two other names on there. I'm like. Yo, this woman is fucking wild, dude. Like, people get mad is that at Bill guys. Madison where they bro, do that? people get no. It's like from a movie, dude. Yeah. Like, we're like they just crawl. Like, I was like, what is this happening? What number were you on that thing? I was in the middle, dude. Did he oh, so he, did he, so he, he, mur he murdered yeah. bodies before he was, me. He like, was murdered. Yeah, yeah. He murdered those yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. One of them was name was Brian Laundry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so dude, you dude, dog the bounty hunter. That's dude, the dude. dude, dude. So that ever. So like stories like shit like that. Like, bro, honestly, man, it shook me up. There was a couple of instances where he sent me wild text messages like I still fucking want to kill you blah 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 what? yeah I swear to you, I was like wait what the hell so he was unhinged but bro his wife ex-wife I don't know what the hell is going on with him now like completely like unraveled him but bro this this woman like again same situation as you would never in a fucking million years think she had a husband and a family yeah, yeah, yeah. From how counts. available she was how yeah. she would come over chill at any time never had to leave it was like I could sleep over all this stuff so I'm like you have a full family. Like, yeah. what the fuck is going on? But it's like, that's what it is. You know, you never know. So that's why I only fuck guys now. Dude, my, 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 <laughs> my buddy's, my buddy's uncle, uh, they found maybe two years ago that he had two families. One in Mexico and one in America. It's there like, you go. How the fuck do you have two families? Like one, married with kids. Yeah, dude, I have one girlfriend and it's too much. Too much. <laughs> how do you have two families? Two full families. Full, bro. Like wife, kids, that's Chris's Sorry, other that's family good, right? right there. No, yeah. that's, uh, hold on, hold on, one second. I just gotta let, uh, 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 let me, let me. Um, what is happening with other you? Other right family? Now? Are you having a fucking having aneurysm? Family, yeah. uh, all right, ship station. You know me. I love to ship stuff. I'm a shiphead, baby. I like to ship my pants, and I only do it with ship station. I gotta manage a lot of inventory. I got merch. I got pregnancy tests. I got everything. I'm I'm just shipping stuff. So there's a, I got, you know, I got to ship a lot of stuff and I'm telling you the holidays are the most wonderful time of the year. But if you're running an online store, which I am, which a lot of us are, you know, they can be the craziest time of the year. Okay. I mean, literally without ship station, I wouldn't know what the hell to do. I'd literally rather have my ship station password than no, than, than remember to take, here's what I'll say. I'd rather, I'd rather have my ship station password on me, then get the... No, I'm kidding. Ship station is pro... I don't know what their stance are. Changing your shipping solution can be daunting, but with the holidays here, now's the time to think about making a change. If you sell anything online, I mean anything, I don't need to tell you that shipping can be super frustrating. So... 98% of companies use ShipStation. You've heard about this company left and right. 98% of companies use ShipStation. So not only is shipping easy, you actually save money because they get discounted rates on the shipping, especially from Fortune 500 companies. It's the best. And I want to give you a discount too. All the Chrissy Chaos listeners are going to get a discount on ShipStation. If you just go to ShipStation.com and put in the promo code CHAOS, you get a 60-day free, free trial, folks. So it's not even discount. You get it for free for two freaking months. Two Julian calendar months. If you go to ShipStation.com and put in the promo code CHAOS, you get a 60-day free trial. You have nothing to lose. I would say do it. ShipStation, make ship happen.
Listen, do you need home and auto insurance? You know who does? T.T. Jerry, because we just got her a car, baby. And guess what? She went through Policy Genius. There's a lot to be thankful for, like how Policy Genius can check if you're paying too much for home and auto insurance. And guess what? I used it, and I was. I was paying way too much, and now I'm not because of Policy Genius. So thank you so much. Um, it's never a bad time to find a way to bundle your home and auto insurance. You should really do it. Everyone's looking to save money nowadays, as am I. So go ahead and do that. They save customers an average of $1,250 per year over what they're paying for home and auto insurance. $435 per year on auto, $350 per year on home insurance. PolicyGenius.com is the way to go. I'm telling you, if you go to PolicyGenius.com, get started right now. Trust me, figure it out. It's so easy to use. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. What were you saying? I was just saying an overall tentpole in my life and in our podcast is coming is never worth it. No. There's never, a never worth it. It just is so much fucking back and forth. You finally you're, you're shoving away reality and then you finally come and you go, what? None of this is what none of it. Right. The, the couple pumps you're in, you're like, all right, cool, all right, this is fun or whatever. But it's never it's just never worth it. No. All the rigmarole, even if you get a hooker, it's never worth it. Like, even no. if there's... You know what I mean? It's <laughs> never, ever been with a hooker in my life. Never, ever. Been with one stripper? hooker in my life. No, never even a stripper. Ah. I never even been to a strip club. Oh, I've been to a strip club once. But I, I hate them. Not, not, not something I ever was interested in. Yeah, no. I, got, I got sucked off by a Jamaican lady. And like she Jamaican spit lady. it in a dirty, dirty sink, and I would never felt so depressed in my whole life. There, oh. um, I'd ask there for, you go. You know when you like lose the tooth of the dentist, like, can I take that home? I'd yeah. ask for that. No. <laughs> I know a guy who was a male hooker, like Good. a male escort, and he Good. said- he told me it, it was like not all that it's cracked up to be. He was like, it honestly, dude, it makes sex like meaningless. He was like, I felt like I hated myself doing it. He was yeah. like, but I made so much money. He was like ripped and jacked and shit. Yeah. So I was like, it's interesting that, you know, he uh, he said that about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had uh, Peter Green, the porn star on our, the guy does like the main guy. Bang like bus. Bang bus, Who's whatever? Peter Green? Is it Peter, Peter Green? Uh, I know Peter North. Who's Peter you've Green? definitely seen this guy before. Who's Peter Green? Oh, uh, who's <laughs> Who's Peter Green? <laughs> You've definitely seen his no. fucking caca, <laughs> caca Yeah, yeah. Let he, me see him. So he works. He's like a signed contract <laughs> for bang, there he is. bang bus. There you go. He said. So we did a podcast in the bang bus. That's one of our pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we did yeah. it in there. We did. I shot a sketch in there, which was really fun. Uh, he said he's done over a thousand scenes in the bus. No motion 1, sickness. This guy scenes. fucks. All right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Just something I would worry about. Yeah, but yeah. Um, what did it smell like? Honestly, not too bad. The oh, wow. seatbelts were dirty, which is okay. a we like I've never you seen went that dirty. Into it? Oh, we, we did we did a podcast in, in the bang. Bus. I filmed a sketch in there. Um, yeah, this is in Miami, of course. But this so is so. What was um, the biggest lesson he taught you? What was weird is he has a like girlfriend, and they they think they just got married or something. But it's like your sex life at home versus fucking. I was like, do you ever get tired of like you come yeah. home from work? And I was oh, I was fucking all day. Now I gotta go fuck at night. And he's like, he like never. He was just stoked. He was just like literally just like if testosterone was just like had legs. He was just like, yeah, all I do is fuck. And he just, he was, he loved it. He didn't really have any complaints, but he did say like, it's like, it's just work for him. He's just fucking. Yeah. Interesting. Because well, because, because there are porn stars who are in like loving, healthy relationships and they say, yeah, like you said, it's just work. But I don't know. For me, I couldn't, that wouldn't be work for me. Unless, unless, I mean, because there are also a lot of straight guys that do gay porn. You yeah, know that? Yeah. yeah like yeah, a yeah, lot, yeah. because you yeah, get a lot of money. Money's better. Allegedly, you get a ton of money to do gay porn. Is pimp leaving? Pimp's out. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Pimp needs to get his laptop charger. <laughs> this is what I pay him the big bucks for. It's just the podcast can't even come out because his laptop died right in the middle of it. Just frozen on this screen. This frozen is, on Peter this Green's This is cag. perfect. But is he pretty... Does he do steroids? He's got to do steroids. Yeah, I think right? he does. So. Uh, yeah, steroids and, and most likely a lot of fucking blue chew. There's no way this is like. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, because because when you shoot a porno, you're not um, you're not uh, like shooting all that in one scene, right? Like in one no, take. I meant to say. No, but you but you. Ask, oh oh no, there's no there's that. breaks, but like but in my head, I always thought like you fuck and you just the 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 money shot or whatever is first. And then you, then you take a break and then reload and then fuck. So that's no, why they, that's how long? it works. No, that's what he thought. They just have what great thought. stamina. But they have great stamina. But they yeah. do say he's like I ha I come early on set a lot. It's and it's like they laugh they laugh about it. It's joking. No, no, but I don't understand. So 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 if you come, then what happens then? Like you just have to. Well, it it fucks everything up. That's why, like, sure. it it like literally. He said, "There's sometimes where he he's in and he he can't hold it anymore, and he'll just like pull out and like just like run." Oh, he around. said he's like, "I gotta go get some water," and then everybody just knows you're coming on the way to the water fountain. Yeah, 
got it. And then you have it's on you to reload whatever. Yeah, yeah, because the, they want obviously the most come possible. Sure. So if it's <laughs> sure CGI are, you know? naturally. Speaking um, of come, R. Kelly's Brooklyn <laughs> cellmate pen comic of Pears Life Beyond Bar. So R. Kelly now it's coming out that R. Kelly's a fully gay man. Right? What? Is that is, what we're saying, Pimp? No, no, that his cellmate is making a comic book about their life together. Oh, I thought that R. Kelly was like in a relationship with this guy. No, they are in a That's comic book. That's a really book. good drawing. No, no, but, but but I'm saying in real life, Pimp. I don't think so. I don't know. Huh. This it seems might... like they just have a superhero fantasy together. It wow. does. Hold on. So that's his really cellmate good with the long hair? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. R. Kelly, I've heard some stories from people... Um, <laughs> from people that know R. Kelly well, that he is like fully, like, you know, I know there's a lot of talk about like mental health now and everyone's like, I have mental health issues now, but that R. Kelly's a fully schizophrenic, like fully mental health, like complete lunatic of a person, like has been nuts since the nineties. Like not- I believe even, that. Like not even like now, it like, cause it's, if you tell me you have mental health issues now, I'm like, what is that? What, you have depression? Get yeah, over it. Right, yeah, we right. all welcome have, to everybody. Welcome to. We were just talking about the uh, uh, the episode on the Patreon before you guys got here about like who, show me somebody who's mentally healthy. That's would be more impressive. Right. Well, everybody has mental health issues. Here's the thing: if you tell me you're not depressed, I'm like, well, then you're a fucking lunatic. Yes, yeah, stay away from right. me, dude. Because if you're not, if you tell me you're not depressed, you're like, I'm not depressed. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I'm like, then what do you do? Do you have kids tied up in your basement? One hundred percent. I don't want like the same girls that have like live, laugh, love over the bed, and you're like, that's just as crazy to me. You yeah, know, like they, it's, some, it's too normal. Right. Too happy. Yeah, Too happy. Everybody, this is going to break. Everybody's public persona that's like, I'm a happy person. I'm like, oh, you fuck weird. Right. Weird. Weird. Tom Hanks, weird. Weird guy. Yeah. Tom Hanks, weird, weird oh, guy. Like behind the scenes, I'm saying, he just fucked crocodiles. Like It's just, it's, it's all over you the place. You know who's starting to creep me out is Will Smith. I don't know. He does. He, what is it about Will Smith that's creeping you out? He's the face some looking a little creepy, creepy, dude. There's an article that said he was like, he was like, I had thoughts of killing my own father growing up, which is also just being a white kid in general. Yeah, I was going to say. That's yeah. just, I, think, yeah. I think every white teenager yeah. is like, I'll fucking end it, Robert. I'll, I'll take off this yeah. Ford belt buckle right now yeah. well, and I'll swing it around. It was crazy because yesterday I saw an article headline that was, I've done ayahuasca with my mother five times. And then when I got dumped by my wife, I went to a tantric sex camp. Ayahuasca is something that I want to do. Have yeah, any, yes, bad. Have you guys done any bad. type of mind altering drug like that at all? I've tried acid, and then I've microdosed mushrooms. He's done mushrooms. I've done mushrooms, it's but mushrooms is I've never done mushrooms. But mushrooms, because pimp, you've done mushrooms, right? No. Oh, okay. But mushrooms is like the more not. I don't want to say little <laughs> league, but mushrooms is not. Like acid is next level after mushroom, right? Like how does it go? Mushrooms is like beginner. It depends on how many you take. You take a fuck ton of mushrooms, like you can be in a different universe, right? Could you die taking mushrooms? Can you overdose You'd on mushrooms? You probably just throw up and I don't, yeah. know if you, I don't know if you would die. I think you just throw up and get really sick. Acid could probably kill you, right? I believe so, yeah. Now, yeah. well, or, or you get stuck in a in a, tra a trance or a thing. Uh, I did it at a music festival and I, and I didn't take a crazy amount. Uh, and all, everything was just more vibrant, like purple, like really stood out, you know. But like, but it wasn't like you weren't like, oh my god, this no, is crazy. No, there wasn't you actually like, had fun. It enhanced your experience. Yeah, no, and I felt like more giggly because I know people microdose acid and then also shrooms. I didn't take enough to be like, there's a fucking Charmander in the sky. But it's it was, crazy too how people be like, I've done acid, I've done mushrooms, I've done DMT, but won't admit to doing cocaine. Like nobody admits that they do coke, but everybody else admits that they I think do. Just coke comes from yeah, such a so sleazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I'm fun. They're, they're I've beef. never done cocaine, but I want to actually do it now. Do you have an addictive personality? I do, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. So you think that's the problem? I think so because I have a yeah. buddy that was like that. He's just anything he did, he got addicted to chewing tobacco, boom, steroids, boom, and then he got into coke. E, you know, and slippery then, slope. You know, but that's the one that hurts you a little bit. Cocaine, right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 If you get addicted to steroids, you just look hot. You know, if you get addicted to coke, eh, not you great. You don't look hot. No, you're shitting blood. You're balding. Yeah, like. Like it's no bueno. You're Coke, picking up yeah. girls in an auto zone. It's a weird day, you know? So. Yeah. Uh, what was, what was the, the mushrooms? Picking up girls in an auto zone. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's funny. Uh, did you learn anything on the mushrooms? There was no... Mushrooms I actually really liked. I, I felt like almost like a little high a little bit. Kind of like that, like giggly. And I took it with a group of people and we all took it at the same time. Uh, we all were feeling it at the same time. We're all in like Palm Springs in a pool, just like laying on floaties. And everything was just really vibrant and like really... Everything looked like 4D, like crystal clear. Yeah, I, I took I it, it. And my biggest like walk away from it, and this is just such a fucking mushroom thought, but it's like we took it in a field and we were like in nature literally for like four or five hours and then we like re-entered like the, I don't want to say the city, but like re-entered like where there's cement and there's houses and it was just so funny. What is like, no, the nature's the real shit. 
This is like, like we're playing house with nature. It's so right. fucking weird. It was like it was just almost like oh, none of this matters, dude. Everybody that I've ever spoken to, or we've done research on that has a near death experience, says I don't fear death anymore because you realize like dust to dust. And everybody who goes and finds nature, their mental health issues automatically start to go lower and lower and lower. I think the more connected you are with nature, the less mental issues you probably have because you realize, dude, like. Okay, so what? I'll fucking die one day, and then I'll just be a tree. It's fine. Yeah. You know? The, the, who the, knows? The, this tree could be fucking, you know? Who knows who this tree is, dude? Bill Cosby's dead. We dude, don't know. Dude, yeah, dude, you don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so fun. The legacy shit is what's so fun to me. It's yeah. like, oh, I want to be known when I'm dead. Bitch, when you're dead, you're fucking dead. You're dead. not going to know that people know you. So why the fuck? You want to you right. name a museum after? Dude, you the, fucking the most idiot. famous people in the world, you know, Alexander the Great was the most famous guy in his time. If he walked down the street right now, you'd be like, look at this asshole in yeah. a toga. <laughs> yeah. Like, you would you would hit him, hit him with a Chobani yeah. yogurt. Amil, Amelia, <laughs> Amelia Earhart? No. Bitch. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, oh, one day around yeah. the world. Yeah. Go fly a spirit in my flight, you bitch. Genghis Khan. I'd be like, what are you, in Cirque Day? So late, get the fuck out of here. Go get me in and out burger, you asshole. And it's Genghis Khan. He's probably because all those people are so little too. Dude, yeah. you would beat the shit out of whatever ancient warrior there was back in the day. You'd beat yeah. the shit out of them because they were so tiny. Yeah. They didn't they didn't have They're also elders at 32. So exactly dude. You know, back in the day, if you lived certain cultures, if you lived past 35, like, you were plus. a pussy. No, you were a pussy. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. they were like, they were like, you're puss, you must have been hiding in battle. Not defending your family, wow. yeah. and not because you must be a bitch if you're still alive. You're 35. Truthfully, I, let's dude. bring it back. I know for real. <laughs> that, that's pussy shit. If you're, if you do, there was wild. a senior citizen was like a legitimately like 38 year old man. I was like, dude, you're a legitimate senior citizen. Dude, you're like a gilf at 29. Like, dude, I read something high. once too. China, like, like magic spoon in my butt. Oh yeah, I love magic spoon. I mean, literally, they are one of the most loyal. People on this podcast, I love you, Magic Spoon, even though you got mad at me once for an ad read. I love magicspoon.com. I love it. I literally have, what do we have in there, Pim? 20 boxes of Magic Spoon. Easy? Easily 20 boxes. Probably, probably more. Dude, it's the best. You can build your own box. You got available flavors. So many available flavors to choose from. It's only 140 calories a serving. It is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb, high in taste, low in carbs, baby. 13 to 14 grams of protein and only four net carbs in each serving. It is the best. It is literally like you're eating the childhood cereals that will make you fat and diabetic and lose your feet, but you don't, you're never going to lose your feet eating Magic Spoon because, baby, it's low in asukad and it's got four net carbs, only four net carbs at 13 to 14 grams of protein. It's how I get jacked in the gym. They got available flavors now. Cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, blueberry, cinnamon, cookies and cream, and maple waffle, which I love. And if you go to magicspoon.com slash chaos right now, grab a custom bundle of cereal and try it today, you're going to get $5 off your order. Save you five bucks, which, hey, that builds up after a while. Save five bucks. Magicspoon.com slash chaos. Take pictures of it. Send me the magic spoon. I want to see that you're buying it using the code chaos. And, you know, do do something with you. Put, put some magic spoon on your nipples and send me a picture. Tweet it at me at Chris D Comedy. Magicspoon.com slash chaos. Use the code chaos. $5 off your order. This is what the product I was talking about before. Disco, dude. Disco is awesome. It's, I've been using their eucalyptus face moisturizer. I've been putting it on my face and my balls. You're not supposed to put it on your balls, but it just feels good. It is a face cream and face care product line for men. I, I There's a black charcoal one that I put all over my face, and it's awesome because I put it under my eyes, and I, I feel like I'm in Tropic Thunder, and I love it. I rub it into my face, and it's awesome. It literally, people have been talking about how crystal clear my face looks, and I was like, amazing. Listen, I'm happy that it looks like that. I don't know if it's a good thing right now to be all white, but uh, uh, Disco face products is helping me do it, and it's from Austin, Texas, everyone's favorite city. So I'm telling you, the face cleanser stick fights acne and oil skin, which it has been for me. The exfoliating face scrub, which I love, prevents razor burns and ingrown hairs. I haven't got one, not an ounce of razor burn and ingrown hair since I started using Disco. And the hydrating face moisturizer, this is what I love, hydrates the skin and prevents wrinkles, baby. It is TSA approved and very portable. I brought mine to Salt Lake City and my skin was dry as fuck in Salt Lake City, but then I brought out the Disco and I felt I was soaking wet. I was soaked because Mormons make me horny. 
If you want to check out Disco and try their incredible skincare products for yourself, we have a special offer for the Chrissy Chaos audience. Thank you, Disco. Go to www.letsdisco.com slash chaos or enter chaos at checkout. 30% off your first order. That's letsdisco.com slash chaos. 30% off your first order. Thank you, Disco. I truly love your product. Okay, so huh? Once too, China, like like the the life expectancy for like us has went like you know in whatever the eighteen hundreds it was like fifty and now it's like eighty. Bro, China's life expectancy since BC times has been like seventy five. Yeah, Chinese Holy have shit. been living. They know what they're doing. They know what they're so doing. So it's just a, it's just a bunch of pussies. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I think it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> bunch of, yeah. You imagine yeah. you land that's your first thought out. <laughs> How old are you? Forty seven. Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. They no, so that that's that's what they said. What is this? Ninety thousand dollars worth of condoms stolen in Ontario. Ninety thousand dollars worth of condoms. That's a lot stolen. of condoms. How many condoms? Is that is that ninety thousand? What do you need to steal ninety thousand dollars worth of condoms for? Yeah, what if they did, they probably just took the wrong box? They're like, hold on, <laughs> yeah. these are, these aren't yeah. gold doubloons. Yeah, like, I fucked up. They're like, I thought these were bitcoins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> NFT. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, that's, that's. Oh, it was a trailer. They stole a trailer. Oh, it was a freight truck. Oh. There okay. we go. They they took the wrong one. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. But that means that any freight truck growing around the U.S. either has like chili in it or just condoms. condoms. Yeah. Well, how are you gonna off? They just go go to go to 900 7-Elevens but you guys want to yeah, how, how do you sell you're this you're selling condoms you just go to a Planned Parenthood and be like I got you dude well, I know wow. a guy he, this didn't happen to him it happened to his neighbor and he still works for the Yankees this guy but there was a guy who when he was a little kid that's in the 70s he was playing in the Bronx right playing whatever stickball whatever his friends in the Bronx and a truck carrying all like the Yankees tickets like season tickets you know back and obviously no internet there hit, then hit like a pothole in the back of the truck open and like a whole pallet. Yeah, it's a of, movie intro right there. A yeah. whole pallet of tickets fell out. And he said he had like this decision. Can I like just sell these on the street corner and like uh, make right, bank? Uh, but he was like, uh, you know, his friend said, I want to do the right thing. And I brought them back to the Yankees office, like the what I could carry yeah. back to the office and gave it to him. And then George Steinbrenner, the owner of the Yankees, was like, Who, bring me that kid. And oh, then shit. they brought him that kid. And that kid, I think, grew up to be a man, still works for the Yankees. And I think him and his family have had seats behind home plate Every day since every game since then. Wow. So awesome. it's like worked out. Good but on the but I would have sold them. <laughs> Wouldn't you have? One hundred. I would have done it down the middle. Like bring back. Oh, these are all I could fill. Yeah. Then my pockets are still full. Yeah. You flip a little, you live a little. Like you know? the guy who the guy Tom Brady threw a six hundred touchdown pass Idiot. and then they threw it into the crowd. Idiot. And the guy had the ball and the Tampa Bay Bucks came and like negotiated with him and gave him like. Free tickets for the five years, some signed jerseys and some signed balls. It's like, it's dude, Tampa. If, if that's me, I catch that ball. You tell me it's a 600. Okay, bye. I leave. I get an attorney. I retain <laughs> yeah. an attorney immediately and say, let's negotiate because I have something you want. Yeah. Now, TB, if you want to throw me some Bitcoin, and if you, you want to throw, throw, throw me $5 million, why yeah. don't you throw me $5 million? Honestly, because I heard the ball is worth $2 million. So if you want to double that, let's get with four. You want to give me four? Fine, I'll give you the ball right now because I, I think the fact that he gave that ball up so easy, he probably regrets it. Do you he think he regrets it, Pimp? I, I mean, I hope so. Yeah. What an so, idiot. So he, did he know how much the ball was worth? They came over to him and were like, you know, because normally, you know, NFL players throw footballs into the crowd all the time, right. but they accidentally, I think it was Mike Evans, the receiver that caught it, didn't know it was Brady 600. Yeah. Oh, so threw it did. into the crowd. This dude caught it. Then the staff comes over. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, that was Tom Brady's 600th touchdown ball. Like, we need that back. And he was like, oh, okay, I want some signed jerseys and season tickets. They're like, okay. And then just gave it to I mean, they were like, yeah, you got to go high, expect a low ball. Yeah, they're like, yeah. oh, Tom Brady will come and sign your kid's head. I'm like, I don't give a better, shit, dude. I, want, I need Tom better. Brady to fuck my wife. Yes, and, that, and we're please. starting there. <laughs> Tom Brady, Tom, they said, they said, um, they said that ball was worth $4 million and that Tom wow. himself said he would be willing to give up 10 10 mil? Like, uh, 10, 10 mil would have given the guy. No problem. And it's like, yo, you got fucked. If I was that guy's wife, I'd divorce him. Because like, you're not, you're not a leader. You're not a good decision maker. <laughs> right. Under the pressure, you just fucking collapsed, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Collapsed. Dude, dude, what did he end up getting? Just some signed jerseys? He got signed jerseys and season tickets to the Idiot. Tampa. I mean, the Tampa Bay Bucks are playing awesome. But like, what? how many more years does Brady have? One or two? Yeah. And then the whole team collapses. Wow. Then you're just in Tampa again well, like an asshole. Dude, did you hear the story about the dude that paid uh, 10,000 Bitcoin for a goddamn pizza? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. What how idiot. have you not assassinated yourself? <laughs> a few years ago, dude. Holy yep, shit. A few years ago. What a dumb, dumb. Now, 
Before we uh, close out the show, I wanted to ask you guys any ghost experiences. Yes, what do you we think love about asking ghosts? This. I feel like you guys have had some ghost, ghost encounters. Experience. I, I've had one experience, and I don't know if it was a ghost, but I was a little kid, right? And my dad fucked me. No, I was a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> just, real, just getting real dark. That wasn't your dad. That was yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Chris <and Gaya. laughs> Um I No, puked. I was a... I was maybe like seven, and I was in I was in my bed, and I woke up, and maybe like four in the morning, and there was fl- uh, from the ceiling to the floor, there was this green light that kind of looked like a DNA strand, and it was yeah. just going back and forth. And there was a particles all in between, and I looked at it for a second, and I was like, for some odd reason, my first thought was, if I walk through this, my life will be different. Okay. And if I don't, my life will stay the same. Okay. And I like got out of bed, and I like got all this courage because I'm seven. What the fuck's happening? And I just walked through the light and I just got back into bed and wow. I went to sleep and now I'm gay. No, I just, <laughs> no, but, but I, that, that's my only, it's not the greatest story, but like, I just remember, I was like, that is, it was some spiritual experience. But did, I don't you, know. did you have a story where you went over to a girl's house during the pandemic, you were hooking up with her yes. and she's like, oh yeah, we go back to my place. Just a heads up, this place is haunted. Yeah. What? She, this Wait, girl, what? Th- listen, this girl, Way better for story an, than the first this one. girl for an, <laughs> at, we're live on the podcast. For, so, I mean, you need to give the A shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris and Chaos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, dude. No, but I just remember you went to a girl's house during the pandemic. Republicans are about to follow you. <laughs> this guy's talking about a DNA strand? Fuck this guy. Yeah, so fucking didn't, cock. Didn't you go to a girl's house? She's like, just a heads up. Yes. Know, this place so is we, we, literally, we literally sat down at dinner. She was all flustered. I said, what's wrong? She walked me through this entire story about how she got called from work from her neighbor because there was someone walking around in her place. There we go. And she, hadn't, she wasn't there. So she called her landlord. Her landlord was scared. And called the police. The police came over and they all heard footsteps. They opened the door and there was no one there. And so she's telling me this. She's kind of like panicking, whatever. And she kind of calms down and we have a a dinner, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm driving her home and she like, so like, do you want to come up? And I was like, no. No. But then you're just like, hey, come on. No. But she shamed me. She was like, why? Because you're like, there's a ghost. And I was like, yes, yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Why are you still living there? I, that's <laughs> my thing. She went, it happened that morning and you're going to go sleep there? I would rather sleep in Tent City <laughs> than have to sleep yeah. in, an, in, in, a, in a haunted apartment. Does she still live there? Uh, to my knowledge, she still lives there. But wow. she, here's the thing. I'm such a fucking cuck that she shamed me and I went up there. You went up there? Yeah, because I'm stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear footsteps? I did not hear footsteps, but the fucking place was weird. She had three cats, one dog. It was fucking weird. I went to go to the bathroom, and you ever like just be alone in a place like, like this is everything this, this looks ghost. weird. Yeah. Yes, dude. The mirror was kind of off. I, I get I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. And we were kind of we like made out for like one minute. It, she kissed terrible like a bass fish, and I was like I am I'm done and and uh, and left. But I but yes, to my knowledge right now, she still lives in the fucking place and. Yeah, I, 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 I would have. I never would have went back, and I would have moved out. Wow! So you hear banging on the door after, like you're fucking my wife, and you're like, here we go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let him in. Oh my God, dude! Wow, oh, Jesus Christ! That's a that's a sick. One. I mean, that's a pretty that's sick pretty ghost good. encounter. We always what was it? And you have nothing, Trevor. No ghost encounter. I don't think encounter. I have any really ghost stories. I don't. It's gonna happen to you, dude. You're yeah, gonna be yeah, haunted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The re- the last no. half of your life, you will be haunted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. You don't. You, you, I mean, you. I'm. I'm no, I mean, we, we, we. You know, we've talked about it many times in this podcast. We think there's a ghost in this house since we ripped out the bar. Um, I've seen. You literally I, did your fucking true TV show in your own house. No, no, bro. The tr- <laughs> I know. Seriously, I know. I'm probably gonna have to, brother. Oh, oh what? I'll take it. <laughs> pass it over. I know, dude. I'm just gonna live with Sal. <laughs> uh, um, where are you guys gonna be next? Where can people see you? Shout you out. Everything. I got a big theater tour coming up, being announced uh, on Monday. So I'll be out. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Going to 27 cities. So TrevorWallsComedy.com. Check it out. There you go. Um, a bunch of cities. Being a bunch of cities coming up as well. Go to BlauComedy.com. Get some tickets. There Hear you go. Go follow the boys. Thank you guys so much. You guys want some food on the way out? You guys hungry? I would I honestly as love As long as you food. feed it to me like a big baby bird mama, then I'm in. I'm going to spit into your mouth like Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Love you. Hell yeah. Peace, Thank guys. you. All right. We're up on sale. I just put a bunch of dates up. Find your city. The theater tour is coming in 2022. We got Vegas. We got the Beacon Theater in New York City. We just released some more tickets. We got Indianapolis. We got Portland, Seattle. ChristyComedy.com. Find your city. I'm doing a theater in your city, baby. Yes.